This section of the book starts talking about like terms. So first of all, we need to know what terms are and what like terms are. Terms are the parts of a variable expression separated by addition and subtraction sign. So here's an example. 3x plus 4y plus 3t equals 10. The terms in this are 3x, 4y, 3t. Those are the parts that are separated by the addition and subtraction signs, and they have variables. Like variables, variables simply refers to terms that contain the same variable and exponent. So if I have 3x and 4y, those are not like terms because they have different variables, x and y. If I have 4x squared and 3x squared, those are like terms because they both have x squared attached to them. Here's some examples so we can combine we can combine some like terms and you can see how that works. In the first example, 3m plus 5m both have the same variable and exponent, so we can combine them. So we take the front numbers, 3 and 5, and we add them together. 3 plus 5 equals 8, and we get 8m. In the second example, we look at the variables. We have an x here and an x here. Down here we have a y, so that doesn't fit, and we have a 4, that doesn't fit. So we can combine the 8x and the negative 3x. So 8 minus 3 is 5. We keep our variable 5x, and then we simply attach the rest of the terms. In the last example, we look at our variables. We have a k, we have an h, and we have another k. So we can take the k's and combine them. 4k plus 3k. 4 plus 3 equals 7. Keep our variable k. And then simply attach the other term. Now we're going to use this new bit of knowledge to solve equations. As you might guess, the first thing we're going to do is combine the like terms before we can solve the equation. So we look for the like terms in the equation. 7c minus 3c minus 3 equals 5. We have c's here, so we can combine those. 7 minus 3 equals 4. So we have 4c, and then we bring down the rest. And from here, it's a two-step equation like we've done before. We have to do addition and subtraction steps first. So we have minus 3, therefore we need to use the in first, and we need to add 3 so that we can cancel out. Going from left to right, we bring down our 4c. Our 3s cancel out here. 5 plus 3 equals 8. Okay, our next step is to get rid of this 4 over here. Our 4 is being multiplied by c, so we have to use the inverse and divide by 4 to get rid of it. Going from left to right, our 4s cancel out. We keep our c, bring down our equal sign. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. So our answer should be c equals 2. Let's check our work. We use our original equation, just as we've done in the past. 7c minus 3c minus 3 equals 5. And we have to plug in what we got for c into our original equation. So 7 times 2 minus 3 times 2 minus 3 equals 5. Start by multiplying out what we can. 7 times 2 is 14. Pop in our minus sign there. 3 times 2 equals 6. Bring down the rest. And then we can combine them. 14 minus 6 is 8. Minus 3 more is 5. 
5 equals 5. And that checks out, so our answer is correct. Our second example is a little more complicated because the terms are on opposite sides of the equation, which means we have to move them to be able to combine them. Moving terms is just like moving the numbers that we have in the past. You use the inverse operation to move them to the other side of the equal sign. So in this equation, we have x's. We have 5x and we have 3x. We want to move the 3x over here and combine it with the 5x. So the first thing we want to do is subtract 3x from both sides of the equation. When we do that, moving from left to right, 5 minus 3 is 2, so we have 2x. We bring down our minus 7. We bring down our equal sign. The positive 3x and the negative 3x cancel each other out. And we're left with 13 on the right side of the equal sign. Now it looks like a regular two-step equation. First we have to get rid of our addition and subtraction. So we have a, a subtract 7 here, so we need to add 7. Again, moving from left to right, 2x comes down, the 7s cancel, bring down our equal sign, and we combine 13 plus 7 to get 20. On the left side, we have a 2 still attached to our x, so we need to use the inverse operation. Right now we have 2 times x, we need to use the opposite, so we need to divide. 2 divided by 2 cancels, which leaves us with an x. We have to do the same on the other side of the equal sign. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. And again, we check our work the same way. We use our original equation, 5x minus 7 equals 3x plus 13. And we plug in what we believe x is worth, which is 10. So 5 times 10 minus 7 equals 3 times 10 plus 13, and then we solve it. Combine the 5 and the 10 to get 50, minus 7 on the left side of the equal sign, and 3 times 10 equals 30, plus 13 on the right side of the equal sign. Continu continue combining, 50 minus 7 equals 43 on the left side, and combine 30 plus 13, and you get 43 on the right side, 43 is equal to 43, so this one checks out. x equals 10 is our solution.